Hi. This uh, presentation summarizes the function of requirements that were um, set up for our uh, second coursework assignment, which addresses the uh, development of a, an electronic lock with a uh, four-digit code. After watching this presentation, I hope that uh, you will be able to describe the functional specifications of this uh, electronic lock. And uh, like in the case of our first coursework assignment, I hope that you will be able to uh, identify what are the main design tasks and how to, define, to divide them among the uh, group members. And finally, I hope that you will be able to explain how you can start the uh, development work. Uh, this circuit is uh, reasonably more complex than the one that was designed uh, during our previous assignment, but its uh, functional specification is actually uh, simpler to present. Uh, the circuit can be described as shown in this slide, where you see that uh, it comprises just one input and one output. Uh, the uh, input is the receive data line of an RS-232 uh, serial connection, uh, where we read a sequence of uh, ASCII codes. Uh, ASCII is an acronym that stands for uh, American Standard Code for Information Interchange and uh, it was defined back in the 1960s to represent um, text and control charters. If you search Google, you will uh, immediately find the uh, ASCII table which tells you what is the 8-bit code uh, for each keyboard charter. You can also check page uh, 179 of Peng Shu's book, uh, where this table is also um, present. Then a terminal emulator program like the uh, Windows Hyperterminal uh, will enable you to set up this uh, uh, serial RS-232 communication uh, between your computer and the uh, Nexus 3 board. Uh, and you already know that you can set up a, a virtual COM port uh, through a USB connector in case your computer does not have a specific RS-232 connector. Uh, the hyperterminal program will then uh, take the ASCII code of any key that you press and uh, send it to the uh, RS-232 port. Uh, in our case, as indicated in the first point of uh, our specifications uh, slide. Uh, we are assuming that the sequence of uh, ASCII codes defining the master key uh, of the e-lock is initially sent uh, via RS-232 um, and uh, stored in the FPGA uh, memory. Then the user can uh, just type any four-digit code on a keyboard and send the corresponding sequence of ASCII codes also uh, via RS-232 to the Nexus 3 board, where it is uh, compared to the uh, master key. Um, we are assuming the existence of uh, three control charters, as indicated in the uh, second point of this slide. Uh, one is for uh, initiating the transmission of the uh, master key, and that will be the um, uh, uppercase K uh, letter. And a, a second one, which is the uh, sharp key, uh, is used to uh, validate the sequence of digits that have just been inserted. And finally, uh, in case you make a mistake, uh, there is the uh, asterisk, asterisk, which um, represents the uh, reset control charter and uh, enables you to uh, restart typing from the uh, beginning. Now, uh, as indicated in the uh, last point, if the um, four digits that were inserted by the user are equal to the uh, four digits in the master key code, then the lock must be released for one second to open the door. Now, the lower part of this uh, slide shows the um, valid charters and their meaning, and also the simplistic representation that I have already referred uh, of the um, e lock as a, a one input and a one output circuit. Uh, this uh, slide shows a few examples of use, uh, the first of which uh, consists of uh, programming the uh, master code in the uh, e-lock. 
Uh, in this case, all that is uh, required is to press the uh, uppercase K uh, letter and then the uh, sequence of four digits um, and finally the uh, sharp key to uh, validate the code and the lock has then been uh, programmed. Uh, in the second example, uh, a user who knows the uh, correct code uh, inserts the corresponding sequence of digits and then presses the validate key and of course the uh, uh, sequence is correct so the uh, e-lock output will be um, uh, made active and uh, will release the lock for one second. Now the third and last case uh, illustrates an unsuccessful attempt to um, open the lock in this example, the uh, user uh, resets the sequence before inserting the um, last digit and then uh, starts again from the first digit. Um, however, after two digits, uh, the user presses the um, uh, validate key. But of course, the uh, lock will not be released because uh, the user has only inserted uh, two digits, so the door will not open. Well, um, I think that you have uh, enough information to start your work. Uh, you can go through this um, sequence of tasks uh, indicated in this slide and uh, split the work among the uh, group members, uh, taking into account that you should uh, start by representing the uh, block diagram showing the FSMD architecture and, and then draw the ASMD chart. Please notice that these two things, the block diagram and the ASMV chart, are uh, very closely interrelated uh, since the architecture uh, defines what uh, control and status signals are present uh, and these are used to interface the FSMV data path and its control path. Uh, so once you are satisfied with the um, um, FSMD architecture and its uh, ASMD chart, you'll be ready to start building the corresponding uh, VHDL description as indicated in the um, third point. Uh, design verification is um, increasingly important, particularly in the case of uh, more complex systems, uh, because identifying problems at uh, an early stage saves you a lot of time. And finally, uh, once you are happy with the simulation results, you can uh, allocate the uh, necessary FPGA pins, uh, generate the programming file, and validate your solution in the uh, Nexus 3 board. Uh, well, let me uh, still refer that uh, as a general rule, you should uh, try to complete the uh, steps leading to design verification in the first week and then leave the implementation uh, and hardware tests for the second week where you will also have to produce the video explaining your um, uh, solution. And that's it. I hope that you may uh, find this assignment interesting. Uh, please recall that it uh, corresponds to 25% of your distributed grade, uh, just like the previous uh, EDICE assignment. Thanks for your attention and bye-bye. Uh,